When Trevor, one of our hunting consultants, offered for us to come on a management whitetail hunt in South Texas, we jumped at the chance. See, I'm from Idaho and I'd cut my teeth on mule deer, so I'd never even hunted whitetail, so I was pretty excited. This was a management hunt, so the ranch manager had particular bucks in mind that he wanted us to take. And since they have so many trail cameras out on the property, most of the bigger bucks were named, even though many of them hadn't physically been seen for years. And the buck that I was hunting was named Twisted Alfonso the Bear. <laughs> I kind of dug that. On the first morning, Trevor and I were sitting in a tower blind, and I was hunting for Twisted Alfonso and Trevor was hunting for a big buck called Indigo that he'd been hunting for years. It was 13 years old and they both used the same area so we were sitting in the stand together and this little buck came in and Trevor goes, hey do you want to shoot him? And I said, well of course I do. I hit him good, and it wasn't very hard to track him, but man, he went a long ways. So how old is he? He's a three-year-old, solid three-year-old, and he's got real heavy bases. Yeah, he really does. I like that sticker point too. Uh -huh. but the main reason, you know, when he stepped out, those crab claws. Right there. Yeah, on both sides. Yeah, you know, that's something that's genetic. He's gonna have, he's gonna have that until he's a six-year-old. On day two, I hunted a different area that Alfonso liked to hang out in. And there was a ground blind there, and so I took my bow, because if he came in, he'd be right there on top of me. And right off the bat, first thing in the morning, a little group of javelina came in, and I was able to get one. It was pretty cool. Thank you. 
Perfect shot. Nice. Twisted Alfonso the bear. <laughs> we got him, awesome. So about a week ago, Trevor sent me a picture of this buck. Three pictures of him. They call him, well the story on him is, uh, there's an app on his iPhone that gives you uh, stripper names and <coughs> excuse me, mafia names. So they didn't know what to call this buck, so they called him Flare Date. And they put it in that app for the mafia names and it gave him Twisted Alfonso the Bear. And so he has the coolest name on the ranch, Awesome Deer. And he sent me the pictures and he was cool. I didn't expect him to be this big though. We were sitting here for him today Right out here, a buck we call Banana, which is a pretty good buck too, that hangs with him. He comes out, and I go, Trevor, there's some deer. And we look, and, and I go, wow, look at that one. And I only saw this side right here sticking out, about like that. And uh, Trevor told me it was Alfonso, and I about died. I didn't expect it to be this good. And uh, so we're getting ready. And he stood there, just like right here, turned around and left and was gone for about 15 minutes. And then all of a sudden here comes a doe running in. <clears throat> he came running in right behind her. There were five, four or five bucks right here. And they all took off out into the brush. All the bucks left after this doe. And uh, probably five minutes later, not very long, here he comes walking straight out of the brush right here by himself. Walked right out here and got broadside and I smoked him. It's, uh, for information on this hunt or the gear that we are wearing, go to gothunts.com or gothuntsgear.com.